Welcome back to the WCS Season 1 Finals of the America competition. America, Ben. America. You're not working on the pronunciation. I'm a little bit disappointed, though. Oh, it, well, so it's all this freedom is just getting to your head, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> it's because of all the freedom, I, have, I feel obligated to say the whole America. All right. I can live with it. But I, I understand your your need for certainly you as a, as a proud southern. I'm expecting a little more murka. I'm a proud southern merkin. Yeah. I am, uh, I am. There's so a so share it with the world, man. Because off camera you always share it. He's one of the most proudest Americans I've ever met I, in my life. Okay, well so let's 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 have a proudness quiz. All right. Why? I don't know. You said share the pride. No, like yeah. I just wanted to come across. You just want me to sh you spread the. I, I wish I could fire off some, you know, pyrotechnics behind me and maybe. Uh, Put an American flag behind you. Yeah. Hand out buckets of freedom. <laughs> well, we are handing out lots of buckets of freedom today, Ben. Of course, it's been a long day of StarCraft already, but it's been a really fun day. We had the pleasure of casting a couple of awesome games, and certainly, I think, uh, I guess X11 and x have been more fortunate today with the games. Man, right? they keep getting all these yes. awesome games, and our games are like 3-0s and 3-1s. Mm -hmm. This is really not fair, but I suspect this final one, this final best of five, should be a barn burner as we say in the south where we have an excess of freedom. See? <laughs> it's coming out already. You just have to like, you have to stimulate it a little bit, then it comes out. I actually think this is going to be a really close series, Ben. Snoot against Crank. Both of these guys actually say that they are really good in the matchup. Crank said, I think, in his little interview before mm -hmm. that he could potentially win 100 out of 100 PVZs that he plays. That's some pretty confident. That's a lot of confidence. And Snoot, early on, while well, we uh, met him earlier today, I spoke a little bit about the Pro League game that he uh, played. And he spoke about the conditions back then and stuff. He said, but right now I actually feel really, really confident in PVZ. So I really think this is going to be a good series, Ben. I think this is going to be the best series that we cast today. I think so too, man. We've seen so many great uh, so many great games today. This is a little bit of a look back at what we have seen thus far. Hero uh, able to take out Alicia, going on to play against Ryung tomorrow. That's going to be sick. Uh, of course, Ryung beat Moonglade. Crank was unfortunate in his draw of Alive, who looked absolutely untouchable. Alive plays against Revival tomorrow. Of course, Revival taking out Snoot en route to his uh, semifinal berth. Those four players all have confirmed their trips to Korea for the season one final. But of course, one more guy is going to join them, Ben. Uh, Alicia just took out, uh, perhaps unfortunate for all the Australian fans out there, he took out Moonglade in the 3-2 series. Uh, he has proven that Void Rays is still pretty damn good. <laughs> what was that? What was that abundance of Void Rays? The, 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 the worst part of that game for me is I've lost so many games like that and I know exactly how Moonglade feels. But he is not happy. It is something that the Action Protoss players just love apparently. I definitely think it's something we're going to see in this series as well. Uh, Crank is definitely not a strange to Void Rays either but I can't wait to see how Snoot is going to deal with them. I just hope he won't only make Corruptors like I've seen uh, Nessie do. Yeah. That didn't go very well. The winner of this series uh -huh. will go on to play against Alicia but that won't happen until tomorrow. I do believe our players are ready, and if they give me the go-ahead, I'll go ahead and fire this bad boy up. It's going to be Snoot versus Crank. First map is going to be played on Belshire Vestige. I am really excited. I can't wait to see uh, who is going to be. Is it going to be five Koreans that will represent the freedom of the United States in Korea, or are we going to have one Norwegian who we're just going to have to adopt and give a blue book? And you know, I think uh, I think Snoot would make for a hell of an American. We're going to go ahead and start <laughs> this game up. Crank versus Snoot. The map right. will be. Belcher Vestige. I have a question for you right now. Okay. If Snoot was an American, from which state would he be? If Snoot was an American... He I would say Idaho. I, why? I don't know. Snoot just strikes me as someone from Idaho. No? There's, not, there's not really much in Idaho. I was thinking he, he's like a Maryland guy. Maryland? Yeah. Why not? Because he's not quite southern, he's not quite northern, he's kind of stuck in the middle. <laughs> uh, I think Idaho. Like, like Snoot would not be a very good redneck. <laughs> no, Snoot doesn't have what it takes. But he also wouldn't be a very good Yankee, you know. So he, I, I think he's a good Marylander. He could rep the West Coast. He could definitely rep like LA. He could, yeah. he could, he could pull that off. <laughs> I could see Surfer Snoot. <laughs> Santa Monica Snoot. Yeah, yeah I could dating some like Valley Girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of yeah. Belshire Vestige, uh, somebody that is definitely not from California. It is uh, Axiom Crank. Forgot for a second <laughs> we were casting. <laughs> There's Crank. 50% uh, against Protoss, 40% against Terran, but by God, he knows how to beat Zerg. 64% wow. win rate against the Swarm. And I served in a South Korean army. That's pretty impressive. That is indeed. His opponent up in the top left, floating out this uh, this Goodyear blimp of a uh, of an Overlord. It's pretty pretty camera shot there, the Overlord. 
The blue Zerg player, we're going to try to claim him as an American eventually. It is Liquid Snoot. Well, Benny's already slowly but steady adapting. He's wearing a blue jersey. He's playing with blue. He's definitely representing the, the blue part of the United States flag. He's getting there. And I, I, he, he would fit right in in Southern California. <laughs> Snoot is a player in general who doesn't take too many risks in his play early on. You will really see Snoot go for hatcheries first, and that's also not going to be the case in this game, as uh, we already know that he dropped the spawning pool before he decided to drop the hatchery. And uh, it doesn't really surprise me here. I'm so curious to see how this is going to play. In the game that, Snow, uh, that Snoot did play in Pro League, he um, kind of attempted to go for a Ling uh, or Ling Infested style, but he was a little bit too late to bust the third base. And then eventually his opponent, which uh, I believe was free, or am I mistaken right now? Oh man, Flying now you're putting free? me on the spot. I think it's one of the <laughs> there's just too many good Kirkory in Pro League's uh, protests. But in any case, uh, Snoot was just a little too late, but he said he learned oh so much in ZVP ever since. So I really can't wait to see what he's going to show us against a player who feels incredibly confident in PvZ, which is of course Axiom Crank. I am also very excited, Kev. Uh, we've seen some rise in popularity of Zergling styles in this matchup. Muta's, of course, always a uh, very good threat. Roach Hydra Viper, incredibly strong in Heart of the Swarm. There's just so many viable play styles, even Swarm Host styles, uh, is having very uh, viable applications and very real roles in the Heart of the Swarm metagame, so there's really no way to know exactly what to expect from from, from Snoot or even from Crank. A good old Forge Fest expand over here by uh, Crank. Snoot scouted it, so Snoot is like, all right, that means that I can still go up to three bases before I need to take my casters. Of course, you don't really need speed links all that quick if your opponent goes for a Forge Fest expand, because mm -hmm. they uh, won't be able to do a whole lot for you. Nothing that slow links won't be able to do, because they will secure map control as well. So Snoot is going to have a good macro start, but I'm very curious to see how Crank is going to follow it up. However, Ben, I think it's safe to say that uh, it's going to be Stargate. <laughs> I think it's a very good, a uh, very high likelihood that we will end up seeing some Stargate. Great Overlord Scout here by Snoop just floats all the way in. Uh, sees that there is a pylon right there by the ramp. Means that there will very likely be ki some kind of tech structure uh, uh, connected to that pylon at some point later on. For the people who just joined us and wondering what we are playing for right now, as both these guys did lose early today in the quarterfinals, they are playing for the final slot to represent... Uh, Oh, America <laughs> in the WCS Season 1 Grand Finals next week in Korea. There is one more slot up for grabs and just qualifying for the tournament guarantees you $5,000. So these guys are not just um, playing to participate into another tournament. There is also $5,000 on the line at least and the potential to win so much more as I believe the first prize next week is $40,000. That's right. One of these two players fighting for the chance to tattoo that American flag across his chest and represent freedom <laughs> in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think both these guys would wrap a tattoo really well. There's nothing wrong with that. They would rock it. Completely agree. As uh, the Stargate does in fact go down, just like you predicted, Snoot is making lots and lots and lots of drones. I was talking to Snoot and Moonglade earlier about uh, Zerg versus Protoss, and both of them kind of agreed. You know these gateway expand styles, they feel a little bit clunky to play against because the timings are just so different, but when we see the Forge expand, uh, we know exactly how to play, and we can see that Snoot is capitalizing on that already, going way up, uh, passing his opponent's worker count already, and continuing to propel himself forward, still wor uh, producing workers 10 at a time. If those links would actually bump into the gateway ban or into the forge, he will definitely see that Stargate, but uh, he doesn't want to do that right now because he knows that the cannon is there. So uh, he didn't scout it yet. I do think, however, he's uh, strongly expecting it as he's uh, definitely seen the games before. Snoot was practicing a little bit before. I must say, Crank looked really devastated after uh, he lost his previous series. I walked by him uh, one time. He was chatting up with, or well, was chatting a little bit with Ryong, and he looked really sad. He was sitting on the couch and just didn't really feel it. I was like, uh, keep the spirit up. It's not over yet, Crank. And uh, then the next time I walked by, he's like, hey, hello. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, that worked. <laughs> I wish I always had that effect on people, but uh, Crank definitely seemed in a better mood and there's still so much to fight for for these two guys so we will see Ooh, three additional gateways going down as well after this phoenix opening but kevin i think you've got a promising future as an uh, inspirational speaker oh i wish i would love to do that walk to uh have you ever seen that episode of dexter now i kind of forgot what this guy said all the time uh or uh, it's not like yes we <laughs> i won't say yes we can but of course that's not <laughs> it. No, it, it was something among this like man i can't believe i forgot it I right now i think you should try to trademark that slogan <laughs> just like to show up at university <laughs> halls. Yes, we can <laughs> so defend I, I, roaches. I, th I think we've heard that before, sir. No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's, that's a Roddy original. <laughs> <laughs> man, I forget. Man, that was such a funny episode of Dexter. It was this motivational speaker. It was actually a serial killer. Doesn't matter. Phoenix is our poking into the third base here and uh, lifting up a couple of drones. Snoot immediately drops another spore crawler, saying, "Hey, I don't really want to deal with this too much." Uh, and 
not just producing a spore kill, producing 10 more drones immediately, knowing that uh, the counter to Phoenix is, is in fact lots and lots of workers. Of course, as long as you don't overdo it, he does give up a little bit of map patrol right now. He barely has any Zerklings out on the map. He has six roaches, just in case he has to deal with some gateway aggression. Uh, this one queen was a little bit out of position, and Crank will be able to pick it up. That's a nice little pick up, but shouldn't be the end of the world for Snoot. He has five overlords in production as well, man, so the supply block that he currently has should be the last one for quite a while. Ain't no thing. Infestation pit is down. Roach speed is down. So we might be seeing some Roach Infester. Could also uh, ultimately Ooh. go right up to Roach Hydra Viper. Could I must say, I, I really like this, by the way. Oh, Snoot is dropping some creep right now in this third base from Crank. So even if Crank wants to go up to three bases, it's going to take him a little while. Now, if you open up with Phoenixes, getting a third base around the 10 minute mark is not the end of the day. Uh, but you do definitely want to get it down around 10, the latest, I'd say 10.30, because anything past that, uh, you're going to have to fight a pretty mm -hmm. strong uh -huh, uphill battle, at least economically. And it's going to be about 11 minutes before that creep is gone, so a small victory, I suppose, there for Snoot, as he is already getting his wow. hive. That is a uh, that hive started before the 10-minute mark. That is a pretty fast hive, guy. 10 more roaches in production, just in case, because Snoot knows, like, hey, he's still on two bases, so that means that if he's going to be in two bases a little bit longer and wait for that creep to disappear, uh, I'm going to be in great shape regardless, but if he doesn't and if he decides to attack me, I'm just going to have those roaches out on the field already anyway. Crank picks up one more queen, takes quite a bit of damage on these phoenixes. Uh, these phoenixes have picked up a total of 10 units so far, 700 in resources lost. And if you take a look at the work account, guys, Snoot is on 77 drones right now against 57 probes. Mm -hmm. He's comfortably mining off three bases. He's going up to four bases right now. Hive tech is on the way. Uh, I think Snoot feels very comfortable with how this game has played out so far. Yep, he's just going to hammer out units right now. His hydrogen's finishing up. He's probably going to want to make some vipers here as soon as he has a few hydras out. And I suspect that we will see him throw a lot of units at Crank's third base. And of course, if he can manage to deny that third base, it's going to be a very difficult time for Crank uh, in, in coming back in this game. This is a really late third base, though, Ben. This is like past the 11 minute mark. Uh, going with Colossus and Void Race, uh, Snoot should be able to max out by the time that Crank barely touches 140 supply. As you mentioned as well, those Vipers are in production, and you're such a big fan of that unit in this matchup, ain't you, Ben? I still think the Viper is underused by a lot of players. We've been talking about this all day. Um, I think uh, some of the Zerg losses we've seen could have been prevented by some good Viper use. Uh, and it uh, looks like Snoop perhaps making that same observation as he's wasting no time getting him out and immediately... Whoa, and this Nexus is going so exposed right now. There are a couple of sentries, so I guess Crank will be able to keep it alive, but these cannons are going to fall if these roaches get too close to that Nexus, man. This is going to get quite dicey for Crank. Uh, yeah, Crank is already in trouble. Ling surrounding the Zealots. Ultimately, Snoot is going to back off. I don't think that he had to. Uh, but it looks like he just wants to wait and get that perfect engagement. He's going to get his Hydras out. He's going to make sure that he rebolsters that Roach count. And with Hydralisk Viper, it's going to be very hard for Crank to hold that third. Uh, definitely. 12 Hydralisk are on the way right now. Those Zealots did a really good job at uh, at least keeping those Colossus safe for a little while. And a couple of good forces went down for Crank as well. Uh, he did go all the way up to 70 probes, so we will be pretty much able to fully saturate this base immediately. That is uh, the right way to do it, but still, that next push from Snoot is going to be really scary. The Los Colossus count right now is only at 2. Uh, I believe his third Colossus is on the way, but still, if he pulls in those Colossus, then the rest of the army is going to have a really rough time dealing with Hydra Viper. We've got two full energy Vipers. One of them is quite low on health. He's got to be very careful not to lose it to these Phoenixes, as these Vipers are oh. critical High in Templar. the execution of this next attack. Yep, High Templar are on the way. I haven't seen man. Storm yet, though. No, I don't think he has gas for that, man. He's been uh, pretty much doing everything out of four assimilators. Just now, those additional assimilators are ready. He did pick up one Viper, so good pick up there for Crank, and should make his life a little bit easier keeping those Colossus alive. Oh, Roach is coming in from multiple angles. The other Viper goes down as well, but not before uh, yanking this one Colossus. And uh, Snoot actually looks like he just has wow. way too much stuff for, for Crank to deal with. Great macro game here from Snoot. Does he have enough Hydras though to clean up the remaining Void Rays? I guess he oh will. Yeah. There's still 10, 11 Hydras. This one Colossus is just running into the natural. There's still a Mothership for it, but oh, actually it's going to go down before Fallen Overcharge is casted on either base. And Snoot is just going to completely roll Brute over. Of course, man. 14 minutes of Roach Hydra action. Snoot uh, didn't even break a sweat there. And I actually think what Snoot did, man, in this game, that you see this really quick hive, is very good against target play. As long as you know that your opponent really wants to stay on, on uh, or wants to go up to three bases, you can let those Phoenixes pick off a couple of units in the process. That's completely okay. Snoot was on 80 drones by the time that Prank was on two bases and 55 probes. Then you can definitely afford to lose a queen or two and a handful of overlords, as that means absolutely nothing, as you're severely outmining your opponent. Yeah, really nice play from Snoot. Uh, just sl smooth, fluid macro. This was just like watching Stefano play back in Wings of Liberty uh, with the uh, with the 
sole exception of the faster hive and the and the Viper edition, which of course is new in Heart of the Swarm. So. That's what you said as well. I do feel that in general, just a lot of Zerg players prefer playing against Forge Fast Expand. Yes, it's slightly more economical for a Protoss to go Forge Fast Expand than a Gateway Expand, but it also means that Zerg can go up to three bases immediately, which is also way more economical than a gas opening out of two bases. Uh, do you think we're going to see Crank switch it up? I think uh, I think there's a good chance of it. I think he should definitely consider switching it up. As Snoot looked to have a really Aww. solid, solid understanding. Crank is so nice, by the way. What the second game lobby is up, we're going to take a small commercial break, but not before we mention that Crank just said, well played, and Snoot is like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back with game two, Snoot versus Crank.